Hey everyone, so I'm here today to talk about the highly anticipated sequel, Disenchanted. Now, if you remember in 2007, we got Enchanted, which had Amy Adams and Patrick Dempsey, and Susan Sarandon, who I must say played a fabulous villain. Now, this time around, it's been 15 years, and we're finally back with the sequel that we've all been waiting for. And I gotta tell you, I really enjoyed this movie, more so than Hocus Pocus 2. Now, I understand they're in two different categories, two different lanes. They're both Disney. However, I gotta say, in terms of a nostalgia with kind of a remake or a reboot or a continuation or whatever you'll have it, Hocus Pocus 2 just kind of let me down. After all that time, it felt like a letdown, in my personal opinion. However with Disenchanted, 15 years versus the 29 that uh, Hocus Pocus 2 had. Um, I will say Disenchanted was really fun. I had a really good time and I really enjoyed it probably more than the first one, not gonna lie. Now here are my reasons for it. You have Maya Rudolph, all right? <laughs> Need I say more? But then you also get to have some really fun characters that kind of factor into the mix that really just make the movie a lot more exciting, a lot more vibrant. Adam Shankman is the director this time around. And if you're familiar with Adam Shankman's filmography, he is a choreographer and a director who is uh, no stranger to musicals. He did uh, Hairspray, the 2007 remake with John Travolta and Queen Latifah, Michelle Pfeiffer. So for him to come on board to this movie, I knew there was going to be this exuberance, this excitement, this fun that we were kind of missing. Maybe not so much from the first one, because the first one had a lot of fun to offer. But I think with this one, we got a lot more dancing, a lot more singing, a lot more just choreography, a lot more involvement. And I really, really enjoyed that. So I think the second movie, well, you know, I, I want to kind of separate it from the first one because I do love the first one very much, like a lot of Disney fans do. But I do think Disenchanted kind of just really steps it up a notch, really gives it that excitement that we were missing or that we needed um, that had been absent for a while. And I was actually very surprised that this movie only went to Disney+. Plus. And I think this movie could have done well in a theater. I'm just saying. I think a lot of people would have been sitting in the audience, been jumping up and down, been wanting to join in on the singing and dancing, rejoining Giselle and all the world of Andalasia and everything else in between. I thought this movie was a real treat. Now, if you're not familiar with this, uh, with what this movie is about, this continues the tale of Giselle and Robert, played by Patrick Dempsey, and their daughter Morgan, and now Giselle and Robert both have a daughter together. And something about their life as they move into the countryside feels a little bit missing. And Giselle kind of feels like her life of this fairy tale is no longer present. So she kind of wishes upon that so she can have a little bit of both. Both the excitement of what she's come to know, but also the fairy tale life. And of course, if you're familiar with making a wish in any sort, there's going to be a consequence that happens regardless. So Giselle is kind of met with that consequence of now she's not only trying to be the best uh, mother she can be, a stepmother to her child, uh, her, excuse me, her stepdaughter Morgan, but also her own child with Robert. But now she's kind of been cursed with the evil stepmother role. And what just ensues is, you know, just, I'm not going to lie, it's just a lot of fun. And it's exciting. It's really thrilling. I was like tapping my feet as the movie was going. I don't know the songs by heart, but I do plan on watching the movie a couple times because I would like to know the music because it's that fun. But Disenchanted is one of those movies, again, I'm surprised that it's only on Disney+. Plus. This could have been a movie that easily jumped to theaters. You've got the addition, like I said earlier, of Maya Rudolph, who just kills it as the villain here. She is so funny. And a lot of times, while she's wicked, I'm just like, Maya Rudolph, there's no movie she can be in where I won't be laughing because she is just so comedically gifted. So please check out Disenchanted. Again, it's on Disney+, Plus right now. A lot of fun, a lot of good times, a lot of good laughs, a lot of good moments. A lot of heartfelt moments. Idina Menzel and James Marsden both also uh, come back and they have a lot of fun with their parts here. But just as a movie for the holidays, I think this movie with you and your kids, or if it's just yourself and people that you knew that grew up loving the first one, you're gonna have a really good time with this one. Disenchanted knew what to do, uh, even with a 15 year hiatus. So I'm gonna recommend it all the way much better than Hocus Pocus 2. I know it's a totally different movie, but just in terms of, you know, effort and work and creativity, Disenchanted does a lot better. So go and check it out if you haven't yet. It's a good time. You won't be disappointed.